Hey guys, welcome to your channel. We are going to discuss some important Hindu articles. I will give us guidelines and you will follow the guidelines and prepare your own notes. The article from the opinion page is The Essence of Democracy. <clears throat> the article brings the reference of a famous quote given by the British barrister William Garrow, Innocent until proven guilty and its impact on the current political scenario where many political leaders are contesting elections though there are very various criminal charges against them but their charges has not have not been proven till now because in indian criminal system it is said that the burden of the proof of guilty is up to the prosecution and nobody can be convicted on a criminal offense until his accusations have been proven beyond reasonable doubt at the floor of court so article actually tries to bring the concept it tries to give the message that should we rethink the idea that a person a person cannot contest election if there is there are any criminal charges against him regardless of the fact that they are proven or not before that we this article brings the reference of the representative of people act 1950 a1 and its provisions regarding the criminal offenses you yeah, are regarding the convictions who can who cannot uh, regarding the types of convictions convictions uh, <clears throat> under which a person cannot contest election the definition of conviction under representative of people act is that an outcome of a criminal prosecution who is concludes in a judgment that the defendant is guilty of the crime charged and section 8 provision 1 of the rp is the uh, nature and judgment nature of the uh, nature the, discusses the provisions under which if under which a person cannot contest election and it says that here the word has to be very carefully noticed that a person whose conviction has been proven means who is convicted means to whom the court has all pa passed the judgment already that he is guilty means the a convicted person who has been proven guilty by the court regarding the promotion of enmity on the grounds of religion caste residence language etc a person whose conviction has been proved by court on the crime of rape, cruelty towards women under protection of Civil Rights Act 1955, Unlawful Activities Prevention Act, Prevention of Corruption Act 1988. A person who's, who has been convicted under these grounds by the court cannot contest election. Now come to the... Uh, <coughs> Penalty means a person who has been convicted under this provision and who is given a kind of fine by the court, who has been given a kind, uh, who has been given six years of conviction by the court, who has been given imprisonment by the court, cannot contest elections. Again, a person on bail after conviction, a person who has appealed to the higher court against the lower court also cannot contest the election. This, this is also important. Means very carefully. You have to very carefully notice the word a person on bail after conviction. Means a person who has been guilty already, who has been proven guilty by the court, but he is on bail, he also cannot contest the election. A person who has been appealed to the higher court against the verdict of the lower court also cannot contest election. As a whole, we can say that on at current scenario, only the person cannot contest election if his guilt has been proven on the floor of the court. Regarding the court judgment, Lily Thomas versus Union of India, it was said that an MP, MLA or member of Legislative Council loses membership of the House with immediate effect of he is convicted of crime and imprisonment of two years. Right. Here it is uh, yeah, countering the judgment of countering the provision of RPA Act where it was given that only six years of imprisonment uh, uh, the person who is convicted of six years of jail cannot contest election but as per this judgment a person who is convicted of two years for jail also cannot contest election 
recently someone filed a pil in the court uh, to grant <coughs> to the court that a person with criminal charges should not a person with criminal charges but whose charges charges has not been convicted by the court also cannot contest election but supreme court in its verdict says that it cannot frame these qualification rules because it is up to the legislature but it appeals to the government to make politics free as soon as possible otherwise it will invite threat to the democracy so this article is related with the actually the uh, crime free politics in India. So you might find a main question here, the narrator provisions mentioned in RPA Act 1951 for a transparent election under recent scenario. So you have to prepare note from this perspective here. Another important article from the national page is that not keeping record of the prenatal test is criminal. This article is related with the Preconception and Prenatal Diagnostic Technique Act, which prevents the determination of the sex of the fetus. First, you have while preparing nude, you have to look at the background of the law at which background actually this act comes into India. It was uh, around 90s, 90 when there is a very low proportion of female sex, uh, um, a low uh, proportion of female child because of the determination of female, uh, 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 the, because of the determination of the sex during pregnancy and killing of the female, female fetus. And this invites uh, actually very grievous concern to India and under very, under, very, under the pressure of the various of uh, women organization various international organization indian government enacted the, this act in 1994 but because of the various flaws actually uh, this law did not uh, come into um, did not prove to be very effective but again government to various strict provisions and uh, made the law uh, and um, uh, reformed the law in 2003 so this act is uh, in news because of the various reasons and this act actually bans the use of ultrasound machine for the determination of sex so the before going into the other points we have to first view that what are the major provisions of this preconception and prenatal diagnostic technique act it regulates the use of prenatal diagnostic techniques like ultrasound sonography etc it clearly mentions the purpose of the diagnostics means they are uh, what for what purpose this machines will be used because the, the it has various multi-prong uses of these machines right so purpose of the machines this kind of machines has to be mentioned yeah the means uh, all these are clearly mentioned in the egg that for what purpose these machines can be used and for what purpose they cannot be used it prohibits ban on advertisement related to sex determination it says that all the ultrasound machines need to be registered and the manufacturers of ultrasound machines has to uh, has to make a clear record to whom they are selling the machines the manufacturers have to keep record of the clinic your hospitals to whom they are selling the ultrasound machines and doctors cannot disclose any information to the patient while uh, uh, while examining the patient then you have to make a critical assessment of the egg its success and failures along with this you have to you can find on some schemes government schemes related to protection of a female child yeah related to it <coughs> work welfare work for female yeah women like apki beti hamari beti haryana government ashroi scheme rajasthan government then you have to towards the end of the note you have to provide solution then what is the solution if there is misgiving if there is problem related with this egg solution is that more you can find your own solution but i am giving just one two points then more control on registration that there should not be any lapse in the registration process of the ultrasound machines corruption need to be eliminated from the process Apart from this tracking of the ultrasound machines, that what purpose is the ultrasound machine is using? There should be a machinery, any kind of software linked to the administration with the clinic so that tracking could be done throughout the process. 
right and um, uh, again it is an ethical matter tracking to what extent the tracking should follow ethical boundary yeah what extent uh, it uh, it uh, it will it bring the breach the uh, domain of privacy right these are concerns you have to also um, so the conflicting viewpoint here also right so you have to prepare note showing the conflicting viewpoint that what could be the solution here also in if it if tracking you is used then will it breach the privacy then how it can be tackled again the mindset then one it is the vital uh, solution that mindset has to be changed because towards the female child it is the duty of the society then again there is a um, news regarding cyclone here important term is the recurving cyclone here i will not be able to give details because of time constant recyclone um the recurving cyclone is what in northern hemisphere the um, way of the cyclone is actually anti-clockwise right but because of some local winds when each way of direction actually becomes clockwise it is called recurving cyclone so this is an important term you might find question in pre or mains so you can prepare note here also regarding recurving cyclone it's uh, why it is difficult to track right and what is its status in southern hemisphere what are the local winds actually that intervene the way direction of the cyclone you can try to find out